friends. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, hi. So today we are doing something kind of fun. I was actually waiting on a particular order before I filmed this video and that order came in a day early. So we're filming it today. I have all of these products sitting in front of me and about seven, no, I would say like 90%. I have three things that aren't new. Everything else is new. So that's exciting. So <laughs> we're just going to kind of jump into it. And uh, some of this stuff I have played with a little bit. Um, and I'll tell you which ones and I'll give you my opinions. And then some of the stuff is, all the ColourPop stuff is like fresh out of the box. I ordered the No Filter Foundation during their Labor Day sale because they're having a good deal. I got the primer and the setting spray bundle and then I got two glosses because I've never tried the glosses and I've been liking glosses lately. This is the Colors Pop All Star Matte Blur Primer. Okay, first impression, super quick. You guys can see what it looks like. Super cute little packaging. Uh, little is the keyword though. You only get 0.88 ounces in here which is not a lot at all. That's under one ounce for something like a primer or a foundation is very, very, very small. Standard is about one ounce. I know it's cheap, but this also, for ColourPop, this is kind of expensive because I know normally this bundle retails for $20 and this is 10 and this is 10. Um, and this has like four ounces. So this is a great deal in my opinion, but this is like, I don't know. I was kind of shocked by how tiny it was. Maybe like a little goes a long way. It's a really, it smells really nice. It has like a fragrance though. Definitely, this is my first time using it. So this is like a first impressions actually. Definitely did blur something. Not sure what, but it blurred something. I also want to give honorable mention to the Tatcha primer, which I also bought during the sale. I went a little crazy during the sale. Like I'm not going to lie. I, I just was in a position where I was able to financially. So I did. Um, this is the Tatcha, the silk canvas. And I've used this. You can see I've taken a kind of a chunk out of it already. I've been trying to pick away at the sides. I really, really, really like this primer a lot. Um, like a lot, a lot. I've already used it probably seven or eight times. I really like it. I'm a huge fan. I think it makes your skin look really nice. I'm not necessarily sure if it's worth the heavy price tag. I don't know if I ran out of this if I would like run out and rebuy it because it is like $54 I think. I got it on sale for like $40 which is still pretty expensive for a primer but a little better. But yeah I actually really like this. The silk canvas. Let's do foundation. So this is the ColourPop no filter foundation which everyone has been talking about so I was like Fine, I'll get it. I got the shade Light 65 because it said it would match my undertones the best. This also only has 0.85 fluid ounces, which again, normally it's one. <laughs> so that's a little uh, cheap. This foundation is $12. Let's start out with three squirts and then see where we go. I'm wondering if this is gonna work better with a sponge or a brush. So I have both on hand. I've heard really mixed. This is a little dark. It's a little bit, no, this is okay. This isn't too bad. I've heard really, really mixed reviews on this. I've heard some people like absolutely it's their holy grail and some people have not liked it so much. So right now it's really emphasizing my texture and my pores like a lot. I can't tell if that's the foundation or if that's um, the primer. Let's see how it looks on the forehead because my forehead doesn't really have any texture. So if it looks cakey on there, now it looks okay on my, it looks okay on the places where I don't have texture. Let me go, hold on. Sometimes foundations work better when you blend them out with a sponge and that is kind of helping. So this could possibly, some foundations just aren't <laughs> brush foundations. They're meant to be put on with a sponge. Three squirts was definitely a little too much. I definitely did not need three squirts. Color match is not terrible. It's always a little dicey when you order online. My worry is if it oxidizes at all, um, it's gonna look really bad. <laughs> if you have texture, the best advice I can give you is to just keep, keep blending. I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter uh, Concealer. I already had this and I actually love the formula of this, but I hate the uh, color because it oxidizes into orange. So what I found to help remedy the orangeness is to take my Hello Fab concealer, my First Aid Beauty Avocado one. I take it in the shade one, which is a shade lighter than I'd normally do. And I kind of put that over it and it just like mixes together to brighten up the foundation. Um, I am gonna take my Milk setting powder. I like this powder. I'm going to preface this. I've been using this a little bit 
you cannot get literally any, any product out, out of this freaking powder. There, you cannot get any product. How do people get product out? Like, it makes no sense to me why you would make a powder and then not have anyone be able to get anything out of it. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. When I've been able to get product out, I really like the powder. Like that, I, it's honestly, I want, I'm gonna return this, I'm not even joking. This milk setting powder, I like this milk setting powder. When I've been able to get product out, I'm not joking. You see the powder flying everywhere, but where I'm trying to put it, it will not. I've tried closing it and then like shaking it aggressively to sift it out. Oh, we got a little bit. Okay, so maybe that's the technique. I think you have to close it all the way and then aggressively like sift it side to side and I think then you'll get some product. It blurs all of my pores. It blurs everything. Once I put it on, I'm like, this is stunning. Like it's so beautiful. This is also definitely not a baking powder. Definitely a little too sheer for that. It's kind of, which I don't really bake that much anyway. But yeah, I've liked this. I just wish they weren't so focused on being too cool for school. So that way I could actually get the product out of it without having to hurt myself. Hey, milk, thank you. I'm gonna do something I've been doing lately where I spray a little bit of setting spray after I set my powder and then let it dry and then kind of pounce stuff in. So I'm gonna use this All Star Face Setting Spray. Okay, I wanted to know what type of spray to anticipate. It's a little aggressive. Smells nice. So it's direction of you, shake me up gently, hold at arm's length away from your face, and spray, spray, spray. P.S. Don't spray directly into your eyes or mouth. So I, I shouldn't do that. I'm just kidding. Okay, so now on to, I like the smell of this spray though. I kind of think setting sprays are a gimmick, but I always, I always buy them anyway, because. Um, I did buy the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan Powder. This is the one I've like lusted after for a really, really, really long time. If you watch any of my older videos talking about like expensive makeup I want more than anything in the world, this is in it. Um, I really, really, really wanted this. And I don't really know why, honestly, I wanted it so bad. It's good. It's fine. I use it as a... Um, contour it's a really 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 good shade for that it's not too warm and it's not too cool but i will say this is hard for me to say because i wanted this for so long i don't really think this is and that so you might disagree maybe but i don't really think this is worth all the hype it's getting this is like not it's a good bronzer like don't get me wrong like it's it's pretty and it works really well I think the price I got it for should be the price it always is i don't think this should be 50 dollars. i think it should be like 45 um, 40. I think I bought it at 40. I think that's a really good deal. I don't really think you're ever gonna think that this bronzer is worth $50. I could be wrong because I know some people like really, really, really love this bronzer. It's just not it. It's not my favorite. I like it and it's pretty and I'm happy I have it. I'm definitely not gonna return it because I like it enough to keep it, but I don't necessarily think it's worth the $50 price tag. Next, we're gonna use this, I've already talked about this Chanel bronzer. I wanted to show you guys how I actually like bronze with it. I've used it quite a bit. You can see it's getting some use. I really love this. So this is also pretty new to my collection. The thing I think that makes this, this Chanel bronzer worth $50 and this Marc Jacobs bronzer not worth $50 is that this bronzer can be duped. Like you could find this bronzer elsewhere. This isn't like special, like it's cool. And it, it doesn't even smell like coconuts though, which did anyone else think that it smelled like coconuts? Because I did. Um, <laughs> this is like a cool bronzer and it's fine. It works and it does its job, it's a bronzer. This is like unique. Um, it's a really special formula, like super, super nice. It's like a cream to powder formula and it just blends into the skin and makes it look you just got back from like Barbados like you look so naturally tanned when I wear this and this is this is another one I my Fenty foundation is the same way but people will genuinely girls who are like into makeup will ask me what bronzer I'm wearing when I'm wearing this because they think it's so pretty and they like the look of it so much in person in person it just gives a really beautiful like I don't know what that noise was. Wow. I feel like it was uncomfortable for everyone though. Okay, next. We have two options for blush. So I did pick up, I told you guys, I picked up the Jouer Blush Bouquet. Mine is in Flirt and I have the shade Kiss Me and Touch Me. Ew. Um, this is Kiss Me. This is Touch Me. 
Touch Me has a slight shimmer to it, but I actually don't mind it because it's so pale and light that it kind of goes on the skin in a really beautiful way. And I also like flirt quite a bit because it's a little bit more like in your face, which I appreciate. Um, but the real, I think, winner here, and if I had to tell you between this one, which is I believe retails for like $30, this one is like $18, I would get the Juvia's Place blush palette. You get so many cool colors in here, and these are beautiful like so pigmented so stunning these are absolutely beautiful these colors um i really really like the purpley shades absolutely stunning so beautiful and this is like 18 and this is like 30 so i would have to say as cute as this little also these jouet ones are a lot smaller than i think youtube makes them look it's like literally smaller than the palm of my hand i feel like i i don't know if i'm the only one that thought these were like a lot bigger um, in person, but like they're pretty small, which is fine, but they are pretty small. This is huge and it also has six blushes and they're also, I personally think, better quality than the Jouer. I'll still use both and I still like both, but like when you buy two things at the same time, I feel like you have to compare the two. You have to really tap off the excess with these blushes though. I think for a beginner, you probably wouldn't like these blushes because they're like the most pigmented. And it's not that they're hard to blend, but it's like aggressive. You have to like be very careful with this. So if you're a beginner to makeup, you actually might prefer the Jouer one because these are really, they're like pigmented, but they're not too, too pigmented. So it's really easy to just pick up on your brush and go. Whereas these Juvia's Place ones, you have to be a little bit more careful. All right, I'm gonna zoom through eyebrows cause I didn't buy a new eyebrow thing and then we're gonna get to eyes, so. Be right back. So now we are gonna use the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette. I was, a I was so excited to use this because I have wanted to been trying something from Dominique Cosmetics because I really accredit uh, Kristen Dominique, the girl who's like the owner of this brand. I really accredit her to my love of, I'm just going right in with nude tea. I really accredit her to my love of makeup. She really helped me learn a lot of the basics when I was first starting out. She's one of the first YouTubers, I literally the first YouTuber I found. And she helped me so much with, and I know I've like never met her, so this is lame, but she helped me a lot. I'm going to go into the shade Mango, this yellow shade. She helped me a lot with like basic techniques and stuff that I probably wouldn't have been able to learn. She's really, really, really good at like the technical side of makeup. And that's why I really, really liked her was because she was very beginner friendly. Like her tutorials are so good. I ordered this palette. And then that night, I saw that my friend Georgia Harris was like, I hate this palette. Um, so I was a little scared. And then I went on Sephora and a lot of the reviews were very, very, very negative. I know that this palette, when it first launched, there were some inconsistency issues with the shimmer shades. So people were getting palettes where the shimmer shade didn't really work like those shimmer shades didn't work. So um, I guess they like claimed they fixed it. They took it off the shelf for a little while, I remember. I guess she like resent it to all of these people and like her customer service on that was really applauded, I guess, because a lot of people had bad palettes and instead of making them like register or do anything, they just got sent new palettes. If they were in the registry of buying it, they got sent a new palette, which I really, really liked. I thought that was really cool of her. A lot of companies do not handle situations like that. So I thought that was awesome. She seems like a really genuine person. With that being said, like whatever issues the first palette had, I'm just adding in a little bit more yellow to kind of like spice things up. <laughs> whatever issues the first round of palettes had, I don't think has been entirely fixed, unfortunately, um, based on what I've seen. Some of the, the mattes, what I'm putting on my eyes right now, these matte shades are absolutely beautiful so pigmented, so beautiful. The only gripe I have with the mattes is that there are not enough of them. You can really only create the look that I am creating right now with a different shimmer shade on your lid. I don't think this is a very versatile palette, um, but regardless, like if you like, do it, like I like this look, so I'm fine with that for now. The shimmer shades are not very good. I, I kind of think, some of them are. Lemon Soda is not terrible and Pink Lemonade are not terrible. Peach, this like peachy color is terrible. You can't get anything from it. Like you can see, there's just no pigment. All the glitter just like separates and then it's it's nothing. I tried wetting my brush that seemed to make the shimmer separate even more. I don't know if they had an issue with the first time. I think this is just their formula and I think it's not very good because it seems like they actually, I doubt they did a Jaclyn Hill where they like said they were gonna change it and then didn't. I mean, maybe they did, I don't know. Who knows anymore? 
but this is not what I was hoping for. And I was gonna get the latte palette, interestingly enough, but it was sold out during the VIB sale at Sephora. So I was like, okay, I'll just get the lemonade because this is also like really pretty, really unique colors. And I was really excited, um, but it's just not good. It's not very good. I think I'm gonna return this, wow. This is performing even worse than I remember. So I'm gonna do the rest of my eyes really quick and then we'll go back to something that was amazing that I picked up and some glosses. So let me just do the rest of my eyes real, real right quick. Oh, wow. Yikes. Okay, so highlighters. Hello, we have the Natasha Denona uh, Super Glow, which is like beautiful. And I also, this was like lower on my wish list, but it actually went on sale during the Sephora sale. It was like $22 and then with the 20% off. So I was like, this is a sign. This is the Ciate London Highlighter in Starburst. And you guys can see how pretty the packaging looks like on the outside. And I think it's so cute. And then the super glow is obviously like super reflective. I think I'm getting sick. Oh my gosh, my voice is like gone. Both of these are absolutely beautiful. I, I'm not sure which I prefer um this is definitely a little bit more of a subtle glow i think it's pretty it's like absolutely beautiful i think i'm gonna use both so you guys can get the gist because i've actually been combining them and it's really gorgeous so i go in and you can see it's like really pretty it's just a little on camera things always look so much brighter than they do in person it's really 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 pretty though doesn't really emphasize texture too bad i will say i think it's a little pricey i think this is one you're gonna want to pick up on a sale i think it's worth getting but i also think it's worth waiting for a sale i i think if i bought this at the full 38 dollars i would have been a little disappointed um but i'm not buying it at the sale price so that's one you might want to wait for a 20 percent off sale this one is a lot more blinding i'm gonna put this at like the top of my cheekbone it's just like <laughs> right in your face. I actually love the Ciate one. I would probably buy more from Ciate. This one's so pretty. I like both of these though. These were both a huge success. Like really, really, really pretty. I like both of these quite a bit. Um, okay, let's do lip gloss. I think I'm gonna use Fairy Floss because I got Fairy Floss and Aquarius because I feel like these were two really popular ones that I'd heard about. But I'm gonna try Fairy Floss because it's a little bit lighter. I think it's gonna go a little bit better with the look. I have not tried ColourPop's lip gloss thing before, so. Ugh. It's a very sheer, like light pinky. Looks like there's little flecks of glitter in it as well. I also, I'm just gonna put on Aquarius too, because like, why not? Why not? Okay, so that one has a little bit more pigment to it. I actually like Aquarius a lot. The formula is really nice too. It's not super like sticky. I think I like that. Okay. So that was my full face of testing new makeup. Look out for a Slays and Nays coming very soon because I'm gonna have updates on all the stuff I got my BoxyCharm. I have a couple new things. I ordered the Ofra Highlighter and Pillow Talk and I just ordered the Derma Blend Setting Powder and I think that's gonna be it for me for 21 Days of Beauty. I don't anticipate buying anything else. Um, I'll let you guys know about like all the ColourPop stuff, all of this other stuff. I think I am sadly gonna return the Lemonade Palette. Not good. Um, but everything else I got, I really liked. I'll have everything I talked about listed down in the description box. And yeah, you guys can pick up whatever you want. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. I'm honestly so happy you're watching me. Thank you. Uh, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.